Welcome back again. This is The Inner Voice, and I'm Dr. Fujan Zain, and I'm delighted to have Dr. Fardot Fateri, who's the president and the CEO of International Education Corporation, which owns and operates accredited college across colleges across the United States. He is the author of A Culture of Excellence, The Art, Discipline, and Practice of Breakthrough Leadership. Dr. Fateri is a part of a small group of chief executives in American higher education today with significant experience in the imperative but rare interwoven triad of academic operations and business verticals with over 25 years of experience in higher education and graduating from UC Irvine and Harvard universities. Dr. Fateri has served as a professor, department chair, Dean, Regional Director, College President, Division President, Chief Academic Officer, everything you could ever imagine, Board Director and President and CEO of several medium to large size nonprofit, market funded, and privately held systems. And we have him with us now. Welcome, Dr. Fateri. Thank you so much. Thank you for the invitation. Happy to be here. Wonderful. So how to confront when you fall short in an empowering way. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, um, you know what, when it comes to accountability, again, that kind of falls under the umbrella of, of ownership and being the CEO of your position. Accountability is, is something everybody covets, but, but very few people truly want it once they have it. Right. You know, I think people in general love being told what they do, although they hate it at the same time. Yes. Um, I, I've noticed that over the years that um, in our culture, people who love uh, being accountable and in charge and make decisions and take action do very well with us. And then a lot of people who say they wanna be accountable and they say they wanna make decisions, when given the power, uh, they crumble and they can't deal with the, the anxiety and the stress of having to make decisions. Um, so uh, although a lot of people don't, don't like to be told what to do on a daily basis, when they're given the power to do so, uh, they they make the conclusion that it's not for them. Uh, and, and that's okay. Again, I, I always tell people it's not about right or wrong, good or bad. It is what it is. Um, but in our culture, uh, we want people, regardless of title, even if we have security officers or custodians, we want them to run their business and we want them to be in charge and they get the respect and the power and the control uh, like any other title that, that, that we have. But they need to be mm -hmm. ready to, uh, to, to execute and take action and make decisions and not wait for somebody to tell them what to do. It's very important when you are totally responsible for the result that you create. I mean, as a human mm -hmm. being, if we do that in all aspects of our life, but especially in corporations that where the results are very much tangibly set, like there is mm -hmm. a goal and a result that is set for everyone together as a common goal, which is, might be different in the er different areas of our life where my result might be something that I'm choosing to create and I could create like a vague concept which I can't, you know, I won't be held responsible for, or I can justify um, and come a lot of excuses in why that result was just created that way. But in organizations, since numbers matter and they, you know, the measurement tool is, is by numbers, then yeah. being responsible for those numbers from whatever um, mm -hmm. a, a place and a position we are makes it, uh, makes the, concept and the culture of excellence to mm -hmm. move forward um, mm -hmm. as a team, as I as I hear you. Yes, correct. Absolutely. Yes. Wonderful. Um, Dr. Fardot Fateri, who has uh, created, and uh, it's an e-book, uh, A Culture of Excellence, the Art Discipline and the Practice of Breakthrough Leadership. Uh, Dr. Fateri, where can people get your book? Um, actually, the book is also uh, sold in paperback. Uh, it is available in digital format. My co-author, James York, and I are very excited to have that. Uh, Amazon is probably the fastest and most accessible uh, way to the book. 